friends, welcome to another video. It is almost summertime and I am so excited because there's going to be so much planned for this summer and we have our bachelorette coming up in a couple of weeks and I feel like summer is always a time where I get like rejuvenated with so many of these creative juices and inspiration and I think maybe it comes with like the spring blooms and flowers and I just feel like so much happier than the dullness and like gloominess of winter um, winter time and I feel like there's just this new energy of just excitement for styling and I'm so glad where I live that we get all four seasons meaning that I get to dress and style for the seasons and I can't believe that summer is literally right around the corner and I'm hoping that this video can be dedicated to what we love here on this channel is bags and clothes and all those things and specifically I want to talk about raffia bags or like the woven bags and that was something really on my list of things to purchase this year for summertime we have our elopement coming up and we're eloping to europe so i'm like i really want to get into that summer aesthetic and with the warm weather i'm like what would be perfect is a beautiful summer bag so i not only um have some ideas um to share about what are the best raffia bags and woven bags for the summer but i also ended up purchasing one of them. So I'm hoping that we can do a little bit of unboxing on this bag as well. And I think maybe in this video, I have a couple things that I kind of want to show you. So, so much to get into. Let's jump right in. One of the most iconic summer bags from Prada, this wicker bag. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to compare it with this Dior bag because I feel like they're so similar. And I think this is a good way to kind of pick and choose which one is actually the better option. So I have literally had this Dior bag in my dream since forever. It is a very pricey bag. So in comparison with this Prada, it's much significantly cheaper. I think that like if I were gonna go for this Prada version, I feel like I will always be thinking of this Dior version. So we might as well just at some point get this one. I don't know, you let me know which one you like better because this one, this Prada one comes in so many different colors and so many different options. And it is literally so cute and so dreamy and literally so much cheaper. So hard to decide, but these are two great summer options for um, wicker baskets if you're interested. I feel like you all probably have to know how much I just love Jacques Mousse. Um, I love Jacques Mousse for everything and they are literally my go-to brand for the perfect summer dress. And what is a video about bags without also highlighting my favorite designer of all time? And Jacques Mousse has so many different options when it comes to summer bags. Like this one here and this one here. And honestly, such a dream. But they're priced at a pretty decent price point. And right now with the Essence sale and so many other sales going on, you can probably score these for a discounted price as well. And then we also have the Stout um, Moon Bag. Um, I have been eyeing the moon bag for a while now because I just love the shape and the look of it. And this one is honestly no exception. Like this one is so pretty and so like different. And like, again, this is definitely a bag where if you know, you know. And I feel like this one is kind of one that is kind of like a quiet luxury item as well, where you don't have any logos. It looks so simple and also not something that will also break the bank. And you can definitely find it discounted, especially during the sale season now. So this one is definitely a really, really great option. If you want something a little bit more subtle and something that isn't as flashy as a branded bag, so this one is a really good option for that. Similar to the moon bag, we also have this Celine version that literally just came out this season. And oh, it's so dreamy and so beautiful. And if you want to spend a little bit more and you love Celine, this is a really good option as well. Um, I think the moon bag is a little bit more subtle and obviously it's something a little bit more quiet, something that kind of embraces quiet luxury a little bit more because we've literally been hearing all about quiet luxury um, the mood bag is perfect. This option is also super pretty and definitely to keep your eye out because 
I think it's so fabulous. Okay, this Mimi one I saw on the Mimi website and I drooled. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? It is like, just look at it. It is so dreamy and like, honestly, such a statement piece. I feel like this would be the perfect bag for a summer vacation. I think this would be perfect with a wedding guest outfit. Like it's so cute and it just screams summer. And honestly, I'm still dreaming about my summer like European vacation. And I just think about this and I'm just like, that is a dream. So this one is definitely a love for me. And on this similar note, there's also this Loewe option that is kind of like, I love it because it looks like a honey beehive. And I feel like between the two of these, like these are, th this is my summer aesthetic. Like this is my summer European dream. And this can't be a summer bag video without highlighting one of my favorite summer bags of all time. And it is this Reeve Gauche tote um, from Saint Laurent. And honestly, this bag has literally been there and done everything with me. It is the perfect travel bag. And it's just like a big bag to carry all the things with you. Like it's like the picnic bag, the beach bag. St. Laurent has come out with so many other options of this bag, like this one and this one. And even Givenchy has like a similar version, which looks like this. And this is type of bag that you really can't go wrong. I'm so glad for this bag. It's seen me through so many different things. And I think that it is definitely a, an amazing bag to have in your collection. And the Saint Laurent's Reeve Gauche, I can wear in the winter time as well. It's practical for all year long. And speaking about amazing summer bags, I really can't go on without mentioning my Dior book tote and honestly I know Prada does summer like a dream but there's something special about a, a Dior bag right and so this book tote um I still love the book tote especially in the smaller version this one is literally the perfect summer bag we have the Toit de Jouy and this one is in the reverse um a colorway and honestly this is I know it's summer when I can wear this baby and I'm always so excited. Like it makes me so excited every time I take her out and that's what you want in a bag. So this one is definitely, oh, I love it. And now what you have all probably been waiting for, what I ended up getting. So we ended up getting The Celine Raffia Tote, and this is a new colorway um, for the season, and it is in a baby blue color. Feels like it comes up a little bit gray, and it does, and I think that's what I love about it. It's so deceiving, because it could be gray, but it's definitely more of like a bluish duff gray, and I just love it so much. And honestly, I've taken this out a couple of times now, and I am honestly over the moon with it. Um, so let me explain why I came down to making the decision of getting this bag. So out of all the options that I thought about, um, I wanted something that um, I know that I was going to wear seasonally. And you've seen my Dior and my Saint Laurent tote. So I do have summer bags that have lasted me the test of time. But I wanted something a little bit more fun and playful. And something that is fun and playful, I didn't want to break the bank on. And I didn't want to spend too much on. And honestly, for the price point for this bag, this is roughly, I want to say, around 920 Canadian dollars. Amazing price point for something that I'm just going to wear seasonally. And I just love Celine. Like, I feel like you can't go wrong with Celine. And the reason why I got opted for this one, and what I also really love about it is the strap. Um, I thought the strap was going to be a little bit too long on me, but really it's not. I think it's the perfect size on me because what happens is I can wear this like on my shoulder and this hangs low enough where it really doesn't get in the way. Um, there's so much arm room here and even though it is um, the bigger size, it really doesn't feel that big. And so I think this is so perfect. And I will pop a photo right here of me wearing it so you kind of get to see um, how it looks like on me. I'm around 5'2", so I'm really not that tall and something this big would normally like be way too big, but I think this honestly is a perfect size. So if you're interested in this one, I love this color. Um, I feel like if they hadn't come out with this color, I probably would have picked a different option, but I just love the blue. And I think that the blue goes so well with browns. 
um, beiges, whites, and I really do like sticking with the neutrals. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you like this bag and what you think because I'm over the moon and so excited for it. Hey babes, me again. So I realized that I didn't film this part or at least I didn't hit record when I was filming this earlier, but it's a new day now. I didn't want to go on in this video without mentioning the second runner up um, to the bag that I ultimately chose, which was the Celine version. And that is this version right here, the Prada Raffia Tote. And then there's another version of it here. And it's kind of like a bigger version of this one. So this one was the one that I was ultimately eyeing and that I really wanted. And I thought it was perfect for a vacation edit and vacation styling, but because of the price point, I decided not to go with it. I guess through my decision making of like wanting a summer bag, something that I can only really wear during the summertime, I didn't really want to break the bank. I know that you can probably get it in the pre-love market for a little bit cheaper. And I know that like a trick with this one is you can actually find it in the men's section. And the men's section is like 300 bucks cheaper. So if you are eyeing this one, I've seen this one everywhere on Instagram. If you like the aesthetic of this one, try checking out the men's section of Prada and you can probably get it for a cheaper price. So another bag that I was eyeing before I opted for the Celine version was this Loewe um, bag right here. And you've probably seen this one everywhere. This was another bag that I really want to mention because this one is just so dreamy and so timeless. Um, this is a really great option as well if you kind of want that, that aesthetic. And I feel like this sort of raffia bag, I think, um, so many different brands are coming out with their own versions. I mean, we have this Prada one right here, and then you have the Jacques Mousse one as well. And honestly, I really think it comes down to the brand that you're looking for. And I think that wraps, wraps up this video. Tell me in the comments below what bag that I've highlighted in this video is your favorite and which one that you would pick out of all of these. I know there's so many beautiful options and I had such a hard time picking, but I'm so glad with my decision. And remember to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe so we can have way more fun and um, have fun on this fashion journey together. And I hope to see you next time. See you later.